All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? How is it going? I am Is There No One Else? And in today's video, we are going to provide feedback to Ashes of Create, the Ashes of Creation development team about their latest reveal in June because they asked us to. And then I wanted to dive a little bit further into freeholds and, and my thoughts overall and my my personal opinion on things now that I've had a few days to marinate on them, <laughs> marinate on you know what they are, what they do, and and seeing all the different arguments and you know. I wanted to bring mine forward. And so that's what this video is. And so if you're interested in those sorts of things, uh, you know, buckle up and let's let's do it. But before we do that, I wanted to talk about, I just wanted to thank the Ashes of Creation development team for being so transparent and open with how they're building this game. I, I, I don't want to insult other games when I say this, but there, you can think of so many games that have existed where they've been built off of hype and you're expecting one thing and you're you're excited for this one thing because that's what they tell you it's going to be. And then the game goes live and it's, 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 a, a, it's a pile. It's a piece of shit. And it's, it's just a garbage game. And you're annoyed. And you're mad. And you didn't... If you didn't get what you were expecting to pay for and all of a sudden you have no interest in that game ever again like those sometimes gaming relationships can sour rather quickly due to a bad reveal due to uh you know just a bad game design not listening to the to the community these sorts of things there's so many different ways for a game to fail these seem like the easier ones to mitigate and building in the open building transparently uh, showing the process allows players through the course of the development to decide whether they're in with what they've seen or they're out. There's no, it's not hype driven, it's actually results driven. And that's insanely valuable because I, I it's truly appreciated. I, I do wish more gaming companies would do this. I do wish they would um, listen to the communities, to their uh, communities more because not every gamer is going to appreciate every single game. You know, you're not gonna like every single game that exists out there, but each game has fans, right? Each game has diehards. They have players that really like this. And you can have your your mantra, you can have your, your main focus for the game. And as long as you're listening to the community and listening to community feedback, and it goes with the main, you know, core value of the game, you're going to resonate more strongly with your diehard community. You're going to make something that they really, really appreciate. And so this type of uh, creation of games is is not really seen much, and I hope it continues because, yeah, it, it's it's really nice to see. So um, I'm gonna end this here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop patting them on the back. We're gonna dive into our constructive criticism. We're gonna provide feedback for the latest reveal. And, uh, and yeah. So let's do it. Freeholds. The freehold video was very, very good. <laughs> uh, I thought it was really good. And, and I'm not just saying that just because I, I like what they're doing and everything. I've, I've had constructive criticism in the past. I've come out and we talked about uh, the tank. When, when the tank reveal came out, I thought that uh, entire video was kind of all over the place and they ended up having to redo part of it because it, they also recognized that it was all over the place and so they got that feedback and, and they they did exactly what i was hoping that they would do for, as far as uh, reveals go they they did a more type a bullet point um type a personality bullet point uh style display of what freeholds are, what they're going to be, what they're about, those sorts of things. So people that just want the information, it's right there. It's right there. It's readily available for you. They answer all the ba the major questions that you could have. Obviously not every question, but but the bullet points are covered, which I think was was perfect. Then after the bullet points, they then go into the world of Vera and you, you travel and you go to see a freehold and you go to see how one is designed and what you can do in these things. And and I, I like both. Like I, I think it's important to have both those things. I think it's good to have your you know your your meat and potatoes, like like just the information. And then, you know, you have your little piece of cake at the end too, where you can put yourself in the situation of the development team and you can imagine yourself playing, having your own freehold and doing these sorts of things. Because, you know, more than likely you're not gonna have one in the game. But I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I had to. Um but yeah, I thought it was I thought it was really good. Now, as far as freeholds go, 
themselves. I'll be honest with you guys. To me, freeholds would be a means to an end. It's not something I'm super excited about. It's not the type of gameplay that I am very interested in. I, I'm more interested in combat, in questing, like PvP, open world, like, like those sorts of things. Those are the things that I get excited about for a game. However, in order to do those things at a higher level, I need you know, higher level gear. I need money, gold, in-game currency. I need those sorts of things so that I can do what I want to do. And freeholds look like a fun way to go about doing those things or to acquire those. And so it's really, I thought it was really good. I was watching it and I was like, wow, this isn't something that I'm super interested in typically, but this is done so well and it's so unique to anything I've seen before that I actually, I was really enjoying it. I was really excited about it. And the fact that uh, each Ashes of Creation server will be different, like you're going to have different nodes because people in each server will be different. You're going to have different types of nodes in different areas. You're going to have different types of freeholds in different areas. You're going to have people coming to different freeholds in different servers for different reasons. And so each server will have its own dynamic appeal because of some of these freeholds and what people come up with and where they put them and, you know, where people end up, you know, going to hang out and whatever. Like I could see these me being the main, some of the main discussion hubs, you know, in the game. Um, and I, I think that's really cool. I think that's really cool that the players can decide when and where they go. It's not just going to be some blanket place, uh, like, like static place that would exist in any game with multiple servers. So I think that's great. I think that's awesome. Now, one of the complaints that I've seen about freeholds is that is the level 50 requirement. You know, you have to be end game player, you have to complete this quest, and then you can get a freehold. And so the concern is, is that there's going to be a land grab style thing where when people hop on the game, they're going to go in, grind to level 50 so that they get the freeholds first. And they're going to be the first freehold holders. They're going to amass all that gold and, you know, the never ending cycle of the rich keeping rich stays that way. I... I see that point of view and I understand that, but I think my personal opinion is there's gonna be so much more to it than that in Ashes of Creation. And the reason that is, is because like a lot of uh, complaints that other people have brought up from like games from five, 10 years ago that have a similar type of system, they're like, oh yeah, once people have them, then you can't get them because they don't exist anymore. Well, that doesn't apply in Ashes of Creation. They can be destroyed. So if you want a freehold, on a certain node and they're taken and nobody wants to sell them, you can siege the node and then you can, you know, acquire gold or however, whatever the requirements are to bid on them in the future, you would then be the siegers to take over the node in order to get your hands on the freehold. And so this, the rich keep staying rich, isn't going to apply in the same way in this game as it will in other games. Now, if you're a skilled fighter, or you're a skilled businessman or, or whatever, and you're able to be fluid and move and adapt and, and get freeholds in, in other ways, then, then yes, the rich will stay rich, but that's because you're skilled at the game. It's not just because, hey, you were the first. And so I think that legacy style uh, adoption system doesn't really apply in this situation. Now, maybe I'm wrong. You guys can tell me where I'm wrong here, but that's just my first thoughts about it is, yeah, you know, somebody has to be the first. Some people that are going to spend 20 to 30 hours right away grinding, leveling up, trying to get to the, these freeholds are going to have them first. But just because you take the roundabout way where you want to go on quests and you want to enjoy the world and you want to do these things and you want to learn how to fight and do these things doesn't mean that six months down the road when you become a better player that you can't compete for these things. You can, <laughs> you can siege a node. You can take these nodes down and you can bid on them in the future. And if you don't get a node, then you can siege the node again. You can take it down. You can build bid on them in the future. And yeah, you, you build teams and you, you develop these goals and you find like-minded people that want similar things and they want to go about accomplishing the same way. And that, that sort of challenge is what's going to make the game so exciting because the game was not going to stop once you get what you want. How many times have you guys completed something where you're like, oh man, you know, I completed this, I got this, I got this done. It's great. So the accomplishment was great. Building up to the accomplishment was great. But now you're done. In this game, you're not done. Now that you have it, you have to keep it. You have to hold it. You have to hold on to it. You could lose it. All these things can happen. And and I think that's great. <laughs> like this type of game is just, if it's done well, 
and, and I think there's a good chance it will be. If it's done well, it's just going to create so much political chaos in the game in a good way, like good, fun, engaging political chaos that leads to gaming chaos, that leads to dra like gaming drama, which, you know, it's fun. It's, it's, I think it's going to be a good time. And so those are my thoughts overall. I, I, I watched it. I'm like, Ash, the creation, of course I'm going to watch this. You know, it's not something I'm excited about. And the more I watch it, the more excited I got. And I, and I was honestly, I was watching and I was like, I know people that play games like this that would actually really like this. My, my wife is this type of player where she would like to manage and run and, and own something like this in game. And I, told her I was like hey you're gonna have to check this out like she's been paying attention but she hasn't been watching like I have uh, and so yeah like those sorts of things and and yeah I think uh, I think as long as they keep doing what they're doing and they're they're now presenting the way they've been presenting I I think I think we're we're heading down a as a community we're heading down a good path anyways guys those are my thoughts overall uh, I want to hear your thoughts as well obviously we're all different players. We're all we we all experience things in different ways. I want to hear your opinions on this. My opinion is subject to change as things develop and go on, but I really really do like the direction that they're going. I really did like this live stream event, and it just has me excited overall for the game as a whole. And so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.